There's somebody out there who has information. We need that citizen to come forward now. Tonight, a new push and a higher reward to find out who murdered Assistant U.S. Attorney Tom Wales in 2001. A former U.S. Attorney's Group is offering $525,000 for information in the case. That's on top of the Justice Department reward of up to a million dollars. Wales was shot through the window as he sat at a computer in his Queen Anne home on October 11, 2001. Former U.S. Attorney Mike McKay says the killer was familiar with Wales' work habits and property. He was careful on the night of the murder to avoid setting off floodlights in the yard that were attached to motion detectors, leading investigators to believe that this was a carefully planned execution. It is believed the murder was connected to Wales' job. And if that's the case, Wales will be the nation's first assistant U.S. attorney killed in the line of duty. Much of the FBI's investigation is focused on an airline pilot prosecuted by Wales months before the murder. That man was never arrested or charged for Wales' death. Now tonight we have a new look at the case that Wales was prosecuting in the months right before his death. Reporter Chris Ingalls shows you what he found on a long lost videotape from this case. Before we moved to our new studios here, I was packing up in our old office and I discovered this. It's the raw videotape from a story that never aired. Years ago, I was on the federal beat and I happened across an arraignment in a complex and confusing case involving military helicopters. And what this tape shows may be a fateful day in the life of Tom Wales. The date is October 12th, 2000, at what was then the federal courthouse in Seattle. I'm trying to convince two of the defendants to talk to me. If there's anything you guys want me to know, please call me, okay? That's me right there. Minutes later, federal prosecutor Tom Wales walks out, the man wearing the tie. He's the one who charged four men with illegally altering a military helicopter for civilian use. Is the office willing to talk about this, sir? Wales does not comment, but after his murder one year later, a defendant in the case becomes the focus of one of the most intense FBI investigations ever. Gentlemen, can you talk to us about this case at all? No. no. Talk to you about the Mariners. The man making the Mariners crack is defense lawyer Bob Chadwell. My name's uh, Robert. Uh, Chadwell, C-H-A-D-W-E-L-L, -L, and people call me Bob. Chadwell represented one of the defendants who was part of a plan to convert military helicopters, commonly called Hueys, to civilian uses for logging and firefighting, like these that Washington fire crews use. The government made this claim against Chadwell's client. You couldn't get an airworthiness certificate for one of these rebuilt helicopters, and therefore it was dangerous and unsafe for these helicopters to be used. But the case fell apart when one of the FAA's own witnesses said the helicopters were safe. Even though charges were reduced or dismissed, one of the defendants in the case, not Chadwell's client, held a grudge and tried unsuccessfully to sue Wales for malicious prosecution. But he was clearly not a happy man. We're not naming the defendant because he's always denied any involvement in Wales' murder and he's never been arrested or charged. Today, the Fed said the same thing they've been saying for the past 16 years, that the Wales murder investigation remains large scale and active. Chris Ingalls, King 5 News.